Yo guys, it's the Fallen Clasher back, and today I want to talk a little bit about splash damage buildings, like mortars and wizard towers. Those are ma mainly the ones I will be focusing on. So this is just a replay from when I got attacked, and so my mortar, it does work in this, it's crazy. It really defends really well against these troops, like archers, barbarians, and goblins. So the first part, it's not really my mortar shooting. Sorry for a little bit of lag here. But yeah, so my clan castle comes out. And then it only gets interesting. Well, it doesn't get interesting yet, but it will pretty soon. When he deploys a bunch of barbarians and a bunch of goblins in one place. So right here, he took a break. He's probably deciding whether to attack or not and then he finally puts down some barbarians right here and my mortar does huge damage to them so yeah he's just spamming a bunch of barbarians in my clan castle guys lure all their barbarians to the same place so watch this boom half the barbarians health just down from one mortar hit and then there goes another so now the barbarians have like one hit point left and then the uh, single shot buildings easily take them down from there and then, there goes another mortar hit. Boom, all the archers are dead. Look at all those tombstones. Well, not tombstones, all those places where they died. And then, so these goblins break through. But my mortar's like, oh, hell no. And he just destroys all those goblins. So yeah, mortars, you really want to centralize them. And mortars, when you upgrade your town hall... Upgrade your mortars and your wizard towers first, and here's a great example. This is one of my friends, KaiGuy848. Look up his YouTube, it'll be in the description. So, he just upgraded his town hall to level 8, and this is a farming race, as you see. And he is upgrading his mortar to 6 right now, which is in the corner, which I will zoom in on. See right there. And then he is also upgrading his wizard tower to three because he just got a new wizard tower so he's doing a great job of this and shout out to his youtube channel kaiguy848 because he's giving me so much advice for clash and helped me out with everything so thanks kai um yeah so see how he centralized his splash damage and mortars you really want to do that you always want to centralize them so guys remember to centralize and upgrade your splash damage buildings first because they defend really well for farming. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, bros.